I listen to such a wide variety of music. I feel like it's a lot of like a little bit from every genre more than just focused on one sort of thing. I would say my biggest inspiration is probably a songwriter named Birdie. I don't know if you guys know yep. her. Oh man, she's my favorite singer. <laughs> I love the way she writes lyrics and her melodies and her harmonies too. I love her instrumentation. She's sort of on like the pop songwriter folk vibe. But then I also sing a lot of jazz and R&B, so that happens to come up a lot in my music. Or even just like playing around with chords and like things you learn in harmony class and you're like, ooh, yep. I can add this yeah. to my song now. <laughs> All these wishes. Wishes is basically what you want versus what you need and kind of putting yourself in your own fantasy versus reality. I wish I could be like everything that I see. It's almost like I want to be everything, but then I kind of want to take a step back in the rest of the song and be like, okay, but what do I need and what's best for me? Do you want to be famous or do you really need that? Do you just want to do what you love and be with who you want to be with? I definitely want to go into music therapy as my career because I really love it. But I also obviously really love songwriting. And so I wanted to major in that to get better at it. And the way that songwriting and music therapy go together is like it's so important because you do a lot of songwriting in music therapy. And songwriting involves a lot of improvisation and thinking For of sure. things on the spot and knowing what affects your audience. And music therapy is all about how you affect the person that you're working with. Rapunzel, Rapunzel. I would say definitely there's like a concept first. I'll have like a title idea. So for Rapunzel, for instance, I knew I wanted to write a song about that, but I didn't know what exactly. And then it'll be chords because I'm really like fascinated by the different sounds of chords or even just like adding one tension or like making it sound really simple and like how that affects the entire like mood and story of the song. And then I would say the lyrics come next, and then the melody kind of comes with that. Rapunzel refers to, like, I guess me, or whoever's listening, the writer, the performer of the song. And it's the idea that Rapunzel is trapped in this tower and doesn't see the outside world. Except in this case, it's not because your mother, the witch, locked you up in there. It's because you kind of did that to yourself. You're your own Rapunzel. Mm. You're your own witch, your own tower. Yes. Problem with the princess is the bliss naive. They'll tell you what the truth is, but you'll disagree. I wanted to focus a lot more on rhymes for this song because sometimes that is a struggle for me in some of my songs where the rhymes are a bit predictable or like cliche. So I took advantage of like the rhyming book that they give you in the songwriting classes <laughs> and I really wanted to choose words that were meaningful, like not just creative and rhyme, but like said what I wanted to say. And it really worked out that I was able to find words that, that fit it. Let's talk about the music video production. You worked with your sister on that, right? Yes, she's a filmmaker. Um, you can find her stuff online too. And she loves the type of things where it has to do with stories. So she loves imagery and she loves effects. So she was really excited to work on it with me. And we did it this summer, back at home. What a face reality. I'm involved primarily in two groups here at Berkeley. Um, Pitch Lap, the acapella group, and then a group called Point of Departure, we're a vocal jazz group, and they're totally different, but like I love both families so much. I really just love singing with people, I love harmonies, and I love what the two groups do. I love the relationships that I have in my jazz group and the types of music that we sing there. And then in Pitch Lap, I really love when we get to teach other like high schoolers or college students 
um, about acapella because we do a lot of clinics and workshops and stuff like that. And that kind of stuff really just inspires me because it really makes you think of how your performances, your writing, your voice, like really reaches out to an audience. And that's like my main goal as a songwriter, as a musician, as an aspiring music therapist. Like that's definitely like my number one goal.